Hi. What's going on YouTube? My name is ADC Art Attack, his name is Bob, and welcome back to a brand new episode of my redraw series. This is the series where I, ADC Art Attack, take your artwork and attempt to redraw it. Now I've been a professional artist for the last 8 to 9 years, I've actually drawn my entire life, but professionally for the last 8 to 9 years. So this series is about me taking my expertise and applying it to someone's piece of artwork. Now the way your artwork is chosen is quite simple. I make a Twitter post. It's coming. Here it comes. Ah! Wow. Like that. And underneath those sort of posts, you guys leave your artwork for me to choose and redraw. And the artwork we have chosen today is this incredible Gogeta Blue. It is an amazing drawing done by Lucario Knight Free, a super talented artist over on Twitter. Thank you so much for submitting this artwork. And of course, if any of you out there would like me to redraw one of your pieces, be sure to follow me on Twitter and stay up to date with regular posts. But today, this is the one we're going to be redrawing. So it's going to be difficult because that's a really, really, really good drawing. A lot of... A lot of pressure here. <laughs> so with that all being said, it is time to start drawing Dragon Ball for the first time in a long time over on this channel. I do hope you enjoyed today's video. <sighs> Let's go. Okay, so it is time to begin doing this redraw. Now usually when I do a redraw, I would be keeping both pieces of artwork on display at all times. But unfortunately, I do not own this piece of artwork, so it cannot sit on my desk. But fortunately, I have a photo. So this picture is going to appear on screen now and then, here, there, everywhere. Most, mostly down here. As a reference that we can look at throughout this piece and compare what it is that I am doing. And actually, if we take a closer look at Lucario's drawing right here, it is a beautiful drawing. The posture is amazing, the perspective, the proportions, the colouring, it is all beautiful. Well done on this piece and you really have set a high bar for me today. But I'm ready, I'm ready for your challenge. So what I'm doing to start off right here is what many people don't do. And that is lightly sketching out a base design for the character. You want to get an idea of what it is you're going to be drawing before you start drawing it. And once you're done with the base, you can start adding those nice fine details. You can start filling out the facial details, the body structure, adding your own elements to it. The swords, which I'm going to talk about in a moment, but let's do some inking. So while I ink this, there are a couple of things I want to say, starting with it feels so good to be back drawing Dragon Ball. For those who don't know, I've been drawing Dragon Ball for the past 20 years. I'm pretty experienced with it and it is the reason I am an artist today. However, I took a very long break from it and I am back doing some Dragon Ball. But more importantly, what I want to say about this piece is unlike the artwork you've seen on my channel recently, I'm actually taking this one seriously. Usually what I do in my artwork is I try to put my pleasure, enjoyment, happiness ahead of the final result. I just want to enjoy artwork. I don't care about producing the absolute best piece of artwork. That's too much stress. I just want to have some fun and I encourage you to do the same. But today, I really want to try and see what I can do. So yeah, I kind of really want to get this one right today. Okay, this is looking pretty good so far. I am really, really digging this. I think it looks great. And if we compare it to Lucario Knight's piece of artwork, we can see some similarities between the two of them, but I am loving this and I can't wait to get started with doing the coloring. So, without further ado, let's do it. Okay, so moving on to the coloring, this is something I've been waiting for. I'm really looking forward to this. I haven't colored Dragon Ball artwork in a very long time, and I have a very unique approach to that. 
I like to use pencils and markers together, especially when I'm doing serious artwork. I feel that the pencils bring a new element to the piece and one of my strengths is realism, doing realistic artwork and that's something I'm trying to bring into this piece. However, I must also respect the fact that this is a Dragon Ball character, so I want to respect the style of Dragon Ball as well. I actually love the use of blacks that Lucario Knight did in their drawing. I think it came out really nice, so we are gonna use black and dark tones with our overall piece to really bring out sort of depth to the piece. Wasn't a bad choice. That skin looks pretty good. Um, yeah. I actually really like that. Let's do some hair. And this is one of my critiques. I, I've gotta be a little bit critical here. Um, Lucario Knight, I think your hair was a little bit off. I think this, the, the color that you chose was too dark of a blue um, to be Super Saiyan God. Now, maybe you were going for one of the other forms and that's totally acceptable and it's totally cool. I'm not sure, but in, for me, the Super Saiyan God form has more of a turquoise look. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Um, hopefully I'm correct in the decision here, but I'm moving to a more turquoise color hair. I'll also be using the pencils to kind of do stuff at the end. See how that goes. It went well. This is not looking bad. I'm really, really enjoying this. This is the most fun I've had doing a piece of artwork in a very long time. I mean, it's crazy because I'm actually taking this one seriously. I'm not like distracted, I'm focused. So why am I having fun? I opted to go for the more traditional Dragon Ball shoulder pad things, them, because I just like it. It was more traditional. I know that in the new Dragon Ball Super series, they're actually yellow, but I prefer the orange ones, so I've gone orange. That's, that's really the only reason I've done this. And it looks fine. Moving on. My hand hurts. This is really taking me a long time. I've been at this for like three days now. I'm telling you, this is really difficult. Um, I don't know why I'm taking so long. I think it's the pencils. They're really small. Have you seen that? Look how tiny my greys are. They're tiny. I don't really know what else to talk about here, so I'm just kind of filling stuff out and just chatting to you. You all right, guys? How you doing? How's life? Well everyone, here it is. Here is my redraw of Gogeta Super Saiyan Blue. What do you think about it? Do you like it? If so, let me know in the comments down below. I really love this piece of artwork. I think this came out great. I spent a lot of time doing it. I put a lot of work into it and I am super happy with the results. But you are probably wanting to see this with the background, just like our original by Lucario Knight. Well, okay. Now there is a reason why I chose to do the background using Photoshop and that reason is quite simply this. The original done by Lucario Knights is simply a background of black marker with white lines. Not something I'm really looking to spend an entire marker coloring in, so I figured I would just use Photoshop. And man am I happy I did because it came out great. Looking at the two of them side by side, this was just a great challenge today, but we cannot forget Lucario Knights for sending me their piece of artwork today. I hope that you yourself and everyone else watching this do like my attempt at redrawing your artwork today. Well everyone, there you have it. Today's video is complete. What did you think about today's video? And of course, the drawing. This was a fantastic challenge and a really, really difficult one set by Lucario Knight Free on Twitter. Once again, a quick reminder, if you would like me to redraw some of your artwork, be sure to follow me on Twitter as ADC Art Attack and perhaps I will redraw your work in the future. Until next time, my name is ADC Art Attack. His name is Bob and we look forward to seeing you all again in the next video. Yeah, um, bye.